All right. So we're getting at it again. So our next section, mission control. Let's talk about it for a minute. Is it not on here? No, we called it command center. Ooh. But I like mission control more. Okay, so we're gonna have three tabs here. Local, staging component, and production component. So essentially what this is, this is like a way to launch terminals into the box. So this is like a backup place where the start stop server would be. This may be where you can see the list of components that you have running. You're not gonna get stats on them, but you're gonna be able to like tap a button and terminal into them. Why you'd wanna do that, I don't know. Uh, anyways, so for local, we'll want put buttons into run, run components automatically. Uh, that's simple. We can just say execute start or something as server comes up and customizable terminal open command things. Yeah, it's that's a Greg note if I've ever seen one. And then staging, if nothing selected, provide a list of components to open terminals for. That makes sense to me. So you just have that same list we have on the side of the screen there. And then production will be the same thing. Let's find our hyper JS terminal and let's take a look and see how we can style it. Can I just download this and, ooh. ooh. This is what it looks like? That's not bad. Yeah, that's like a real terminal. Is there a way to get a new, yes, this is all, this is all I wanted was multiple tabs. And so I can do that. Oh, you can split it. What? Oh, baby. This is literally what it can look like. And we can probably edit the source code for Hyper to get rid of the top bar. Or we can maybe stuff this thing in there in such a way that you wouldn't see that X, right? You wouldn't even see the word Hyper. We would just somewhere in a readme file somewhere attribute the license. So you could have this here. We could size it into the window like this. And then seriously, like we might be able to stick buttons up here that let you do like that. I wonder too, if maybe the smarter play here is like this. And then we put the controls over here. Cause if you have a bunch of instances that you want to talk to, uh, we're going to run into a space issue if they're like up here. Cause this terminals, I, I would want the biggest terminal possible. So that's what we'll try to give them. The people want it. We'll give it to them. Okay, so we need a control to start the server, to stop the server. I know these are kind of gross buttons, guys, but I just kind of want to get this jammed out. Local, I think that's good. Start the server, restart the server, open the terminal. I, I kind of want to put these guys in here too, but I don't think they're the same thing as these guys. So, let me put them down here. They're the worst buttons, but they do things. Okay. So let's do staging. Um, so a staging and a prod server, we'll just, what we're gonna do is we're gonna design for the prod server. So let me change that. Cause they're mostly the same, but the, pro, the prod use case that we have has um, multiple components on one box like right here. And then we can sort of move all these things op over and say like, okay, these are separate instances. So they're gonna have different ways to talk to them. So we'd want to be able to open a terminal to each instance, maybe individual reboot, start, halt. That can just be a toggle. Maybe some status indicator. Hopefully, hopefully do. Here's all of our little guys here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So this is the only one we have to do this on. This is the a parent-child relationship. There will be more like this, but I th think we gotta just figure out how to do these a little better. So this will probably, this won't have any controls. The components that sit inside of boxes have no controls. And we kind of had a drawing line pattern thing, which we could just use that, couldn't we? If we have a system that we're establishing here, let's, let's not go full into it, right? but let's try a few things to like, let's pull a few of these ideas in. Yeah, that's not the worst thing ever. If you kind of imagine that keeps going, maybe it'll be 
better looking as we keep building the component list, but we now have to deal with a couple of things. The alignment's definitely gonna change in these little tiny guys like those. I'm gonna add one more underneath this, although we're gonna have to replace it just so I can see scale as I build it, like make sure I'm not making anything too big, too small. So I'll try one thing. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is how we do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just like that. Somewhere in there. That's, though, that doesn't look good. Okay, let me try one more thing. So over here, we kind of did this like knocked in thing. So this would kind of come out here and then knock in like this. So I guess that could make sense because this doesn't have, oh, like you can't start stop the component. It exists there, but you can't start stop it. So maybe you do that. All right, so we need to get those buttons in. Let's grab them. Yep. That's not too bad. I got, definitely gotta have to get some more alignment going, but that's not too bad. Let's move these down into alignment. Where did that go? Where did you go? Over, why? Why is it over here? <laughs> why did it just decide it should move from where it was? And then when I close it, it's like, I'm fine. I'm going to go right back. But if I open it again, what if I open that one? It just thinks it should be way over here. What? <laughs> Okay, so these fonts are too big. We're gonna have to knock them down. So one of these is turned off. Okay, so now we have to make it look turned off. We could move the line around it. That's gonna make, that wouldn't be hard to design. It's just gonna be a thing. Um, Why don't we just break it? And we'll just, well, let's just see what that does. And we'll like kinda, we had a pattern where it was sort of like this line that would move down and then we put a, um, but I'll just show it. <laughs> okay, that's. I think that's about half the battle with this thing. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna um, and that, and that, and because the box is offline, it will be a little harder to see these things. Just a little tiny bit. Okay. Does anything about this look funky? This this guy right here looks a little funky. I just, oh, let's try, let's try a baby line. So if we take this and then we'll just draw like halfway into it, that might make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe put it up into the name. It's close enough. We'll tweak these things later. We got the idea though. Now I think that covers staging as well. Cause these cases would be roughly the same in staging. And I guess the other thing is too, like this terminal, we can adjust the sizing of it. Like if this gets funky, I think we could move this over a little bit. How many times do you need a terminal that wide? Okay. We have three things left. Um, we have deployment statistics, deployment scaling, and the ad project interface. Well, what we did do, I think looks okay. So, all right guys, have a good uh, week.